All right, more in the breaking news now in Hong Kong. Thousands of protesters there are on the march. Tear gas we now is in the air. In fact, CNN's Anna Corrin is in the crowd. She was actually hit by tear gas just a few minutes ago. Uh, Anna, first of all, you and the crew okay? Yeah, thank you, Christy. We're, we're okay, but it was something uh, we were not anticipating. We've been here covering these protests every weekend for the last eight consecutive weekends, and police have fired tear gas, but not at that strength. Uh, this was something quite toxic. Uh, it hit the ground. Admittedly, we were in a residential area, and, and then it was just burning up. And if you don't have your mask on super tight, then it gets in. Uh, my producer, Bex Ryder, and myself, we were just choking up. It was, it was extremely difficult to breathe, and we just had to get out of there, as did everybody else. Uh, we were down the hill, and you can still see riot police down there, but they have dispersed the crowd. Now they are moving in that direction, and you can hear them hitting uh, their shields. They are moving these crowds much quicker and much more effectively than they have over the past eight weeks. This is a completely uh, different operation to what we have seen. In the past, police have allowed this to like drag on for hours. Uh, but tonight, it, it, it is happening at a much faster, faster pace. Where we are is Shung Wan, very close to the Beijing liaison office. That is basically the, 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 the Chinese government building here in Hong Kong. And last Sunday, protesters graffitied it. They defaced the national emblem, and uh, Beijing was quick to respond. Uh, they said that that was challenging, that the one country, two systems policy. That is why they are guarding that area, and they don't want protesters getting anywhere near it. Those protesters are now being moved back uh, here in Shenwan. This is a very residential uh, area. Uh, but uh, we also know that there's another protest happening about 15 minutes from where we are in Causeway Bay. There are thousands of people there, apparently not a very heavy police presence at this stage. But it would seem that after last night, where we were at Yunlong, uh, a border city very close to the Chinese mainland, those violent clashes uh, with police where they used tear gas, uh, rubber bullets and, and, and pepper spray, we our crew were with the protesters when, when they attacked. Uh, it, it seems the police are now upping the ante, uh, whether they are going to tolerate uh, these unlawful assemblies uh, for, for much longer. It, you, you get the sense, uh, Christine and Victor, that, that uh, police are, are starting to clamp down. All right, Anna Corrin, be safe out there. Thank you so much for your uh, fantastic reporting over this last several weeks.